Hi everybody and welcome to the Deep Dive. A while back one of you wonderful people asked the question about rich right lean left. Now this has nothing to do with the affluence of different political leanings but more to do with managing gas mixes. So this is pretty advanced stuff so if you've never heard of it don't beat yourself up. And it's kind of instructor specific sort of. So even if you are a pretty advanced diver you still may not have heard of rich right lean left. The concept comes because if you're diving with multiple gas mixes, you can often be loaded up with lots of different tanks and second stages, and you want to be breathing the correct mix at the correct depth. It can be dangerous if you put the wrong second stage in your mouth and breathe from it at the wrong depth. Whilst you should always diligently check each tank and second stage before you switch to it and confirm it with your buddy as well, mistakes can still be made, so some divers practice rich right, lean left. Rich right, lean left is where you basically have your oxygen rich stage tanks on your right hand side and lesser mixes on your left hand side. Having them on opposite sides of your body just reduces the chance of switching to a rich gas mix at depth and getting yourself into trouble. If your diving air is, or your uh, sort of back gas is just air or you're using air as a diluent and you bring a single nitrox mix with you, you put it on the right hand side regardless because it's more rich. If it was just air, you put it on the left. That way you, if you have two or more mixes on you, you kind of have them pre-sorted and arranged instead of having them both on the left hand side and then having to make that decision in, the, in a rush. Did I put the rich mix on top or on the bottom? Without thinking, you should always be able to just reach to your left hand side at all times during your dive. You can also be less crowded as well and more evened out as well if you've got it sort of on both sides instead of just on one side. It's mainly down to how you were taught and just what works for you. As with all of my advice, there's no right and wrong way to do something. It's down to what works for you. If rich right works for you, then great. Go with it. If you've tried it and you didn't get on with it, then that's perfectly fine too. Don't force yourself to do something that doesn't work for you. Just know that there are other ways of doing things out there. The main alternative method is putting everything on your left, which is kind of the DIR's way of doing things. There are some benefits to having everything on the left, the main one being donating gas. Because your long hose from your back mount roots down your right hand hip, you'd have to free the hose from underneath a right mounted tank. You also need that extra D-ring to, uh, to mount tanks onto your right hand side, which if you dive a battery for your undersuit or your torch, that can all just sort of get in the way. And if you do have a tank on your right hand side, then they can get in the way of your right thigh pocket more than having nothing at all. It's also very standardized if everything is on your left hand side. The hoses always roots behind your neck and then into your mouth. If you mix in a hose from the right hand side, it either crosses your body and then goes around your neck or just straight up into your mouth, which just kind of feels a bit odd. But if everything is always on the left, then muscle memory kind of always puts it in the same place. You do have to be disciplined and not let just muscle memory grab any old second stage on your left hand side if it's not all everything's over there, but at least it's kind of standardized. Uh, again, it's it's very much up to you. They both have their pros and cons. Um, I've heard some divers swear by rich right and other divers swear by all on the left. It's, it's really the diver's choice. If it works for you, then do whatever you want. Just make sure that you always put the right thing in your mouth before you breathe from it. It does make a lot of sense to spread out multiple stage tanks on either side of you to reduce any confusion and even out your buoyancy as well. But just experiment with it. At this kind of level, you should really be making your own decisions at which setup is safer and more streamlined for you. I've tried a little bit of everything in my years, uh, even chess mounting as well, but I don't really want to influence your final decision. I want you to make your own mind up. So what do you think? Uh, is it important to even things out to reduce chances of error or should you just check your gas really thoroughly before switching to it? Tanks on both sides? 
too clumsy and cumbersome or is it all tanks on the left too clumsy and cumbersome because it's all on one side and you're now lopsided? It is an interesting discussion with no definitive right or wrong answer. So let's discuss in the comments. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving.